with y'all. We had Costco, so let's see what they have. I'm trying to come in here and get some smoothies. Stuff for my smoothies, so let's see what they have now. Gosh, look at this TV. $9.99, I love that thing. So that is an LG. I have an LG at home, y'all. My home, we've been having that LG. Ooh, look at this one. This Sony. I've been having that LG for 11 years and not giving me problems. But this one's beautiful. This one's for 2000. I like that one. This one, this one's beautiful. You see how beautiful that one shows? Yeah, really nice. All right, let's see what they have for smoothie stuff. I was telling them we had the LG for so long. <laughs> it's time for us to get a new TV, but that car, that, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It has not given us problems at all. That thing has last forever. I'm thinking this is like our version, just a little smaller, probably a newer version of the LG. What is this oh, one, Joe? This is Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings? Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, Rings of Power. Oh, Rings of Power. So this oh. one's for $12.99. That's what that box looks like. The show is beautiful. Ooh, that heater feel good. How much is this heater for? Lord, we need one of these. Our heater at home works, but how much is this one? It don't have a price? Ooh, I feel that. Oh, this mirror is cute. You see this mirror, Mom? Mm -hmm. I like that mirror, y'all. Halo Connor rechargeable mirror. It's for $23.99. This mirror is really pretty. I like it. I got these Phillips. Joshua, say how much these are. These Phillips, too. How much? $129.99 for this set. Her set is cute, y'all. See that? And then it's got that big gazebo. That's cute. Like a little fire pit. That's $23.99 for that. $23.99. All right, y'all. Let me get some kiwi. Because they are really healthy for me. We got some little spoon in here. Little spoon. Sometimes kiwis look like tarantulas, y'all. Okay, so these kiwis are again. Oh, no, that's the mango. Are these organic? Oh, I want them if they're only if they're organic. And then these. What mangoes are they talking about? Tell there is no mango in this entire section. I think the, maybe these are $7.49. No, these are $8.99. The green kiwis. I guess mangoes were here in their lawn. But I don't see them being organic. So I'm going to wait until... They come from Greece, though. They don't put pesticides on theirs. So I might just go and get these. I'm going to get these because they came from Greece, not here from the U.S. So we're going to grab these kiwis. And these are for $8.99. $8.99 for the green pack. Mommy getting all of our um, cold stuff. Okay, yes, what did you get? Okay, she got some blueberries. We got some organic Brussels sprouts here, y'all. Green power for our power drinks. And organic baby spinach. These are organic bananas. So, go grab us some organic bananas. They, can, they all bruised up to be green. Let me see here. All right, I'll let mama look at that. She always gets at the bananas. if these look but oh no honey they bruise y'all know whenever i'll be checking these bananas i'll be checking for banana spiders there's a lady once she got some bananas and honey it had one of them banana spiders bit her and she had a time okay yeah mama that's spring yep that looks good yep okay i'm gonna make my chocolate cover strawberries but y'all they got these for 12.99 child she gonna make these herself with that kit that i got at home but if you don't have time these look wonderful for $12.99, you guys. I have these egg bites. Everybody was saying these are good. Um, the uncured bacon egg bites. They're for, they're $14.79. Hmm, might you see these? They're egg bites. And they have two kinds. There's another one. This one has egg bites, egg whites, roasted red peppers. Look at the, it's cage free. Look how many grams of protein, y'all, I'm gonna show you. Look at all the grams of protein in there. But that's a lot of ingredients. I'll make my own egg bites. 
Yeah, these are the macaroons, y'all. Oh my goodness. Those are so, what is this? Meat lovers lasagna. Child, that is full of calories and nah, I'll pass on it. Yep, and I wouldn't do it today. But look at the macarons. The only thing is, how long they've been up here? Because they look cracked. Y'all, look at them. They all crack, but they're pretty. I usually get these, and they've gone up. They used to be 12 something. They're on $14.99. I'm not going to get those because they look cracked. Oh, listen to the baby. All right, so we're going to pass on these. Oh, no, they're $13.69. $14.99 for that pizza thing. So $13.69. See, they have the Italian four cheese ravioli, $10.69. And it's the heart shape. This with some um, rayo sauce, y'all. I did that. Oh, so good. And it's pretty, too. And they also have it regular, too, if you want that for $14.69. That's the regular ones with the chicken in it. Kimchi. <gasps> no, for $4.99? Oh, we getting two of these, y'all. They on sale. I love my kimchi. Ma, they on sale for $4.99. Here, take one. She's so happy about this kimchi, y'all. It's my favorite kimchi. Lord, please let me pick the best one. All right. There we go. So we got some kimchi. And that is for $4.99, y'all. It's on sale. So very happy about that. So let's go around to the frozen area. I was wondering if I should get some of this. That pomegranate juice is so good. And I think it'll go good in the smoothies. Is it 100%? It is 100% pomegranate juice. I think I'm gonna have to get some of that. And y'all, right now it is for $9.59. Yeah. That's a pretty big one, Chef. What kind is it? Is it good? Oh, okay. <laughs> now you don't like them. But y'all, look at these succulents. They getting ready for spring. Aren't these pretty? Ma, you see these? They are beautiful for $19.99. And they are just lovely. Y'all know succulents last for a while. They're very pretty. Love that, love it. And then this one's pretty too. The tulips, getting ready for spring, $16.99. These are so pretty. No, they don't put this salmon on sale. $34.99, three pound bag. Gosh, you gotta pay rent for salmon. Well, groceries nowadays, period. Yes, why? Well, I don't mess with it if it ain't wild caught, child. Let me see why he spotted them. Let me see. I don't want no spot What is this? That's halibut. And we know Lord knows halibut. How much is the halibut one? Oh, Lord knows the halibut probably costs an arm and a leg and two feet, too. Now, this one looks pretty. Okay. Let me just get this one. Salmon, y'all, unfortunately, is for $34.99. And the halibut is y'all for $42.99. Lord have mercy, that just hit me in the gut. But what is this dim sum? Y'all see that? I think it's for, um, it's got the dragon on it, so I'm thinking it's for um, the New Year's. Let me just show y'all. Mahi Mahi, ooh. Mahi Mahi is $25.49. Okay, so that's that. Ooh, dim sum. I don't know how much it costs, but that's the information on the back. The dim sum. And then this looks beautiful. The noodle with rice. Ooh, that looks pretty. Looks like I can't pull it out, but y'all, that's it right there. I wonder if that whole fish is in there. Anyway, so yeah, that one is $39.99, but the Mahi Mahi is $25.49. So they have some more here, right there, y'all. For um, Lunar New Year, is that the, that thing is $65.99, child. Lord have mercy. Now we get into the area where we do our smoothies. What's this premium masala durian? Is that the one that tastes nasty? All right, so this is the one we get, $12.69. We love them because they come individually packaged. And uh, I don't know why I always reach for the one way in the back. Okay, so we got that one here. We got this one. We love this one. This one's $10.99. The Daybreak Blend, y'all, is good too. Here, guys. This bag feeling a little like it's been struggling. 
So let's do this one. That's that one. And then we do the dragon fruit one, y'all. The dragon fruit one is for $10.99. I wish they had the, um, we have to get the blueberry ones from um, Trader Joe's, the wild blueberries. You know wild blueberries, I don't see them here. But you want that wild blueberry. We got these from World Market, and I cannot believe they have made it to Trader Joe's. The clam chowder, $12.99. Y'all, we love these. This was so good when we had it. And if you even buy extra clams and put them in there, it will be delicious. So that was for $12.99. I'm surprised to see that. We have one more can left. We love it. All right, we got chia seeds at home. Big old thing of chia seeds. We're we going to stick away from, we're going to stay away from that one, but it's so delicious, y'all. The 1149 Alfredo sauce. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead on and get my real spaghetti sauce, y'all. This is my favorite marinara. Oh, that's got a mark on it, child. She ain't doing that. That's why I always check. Put this back there. Josh on his samples. Okay, so the rails is $11.99, and you get two for that. Okay, y'all, definitely want two of these. All right, so we're getting this cinnamon, and it's for $4.99. And it's organic. Sorry, guys. Coffee tastes good, y'all. This right here, that's the second Let me see. Jose's. Jose's. Yeah. I still have the layer, but I have some at home, but it's $19.69, and you get this really big bag. And I love, this is my favorite creamer for $19.69. Ever seen almond cream, $5.97? I've never seen that. Spreadable cream, interesting. I wonder where does it come from? Uh, imported from where? Interesting. Almond spreadable. That's the ingredients, y'all. Almond, milk powder, extra virgin olive oil. Cocoa butters. Mm. Hmm, interesting. It was two of them stuck together, y'all. They done split these things apart and making them four night fourteen ninety nine. You used to get two of them because we had two of them yeah. stuck together. Ridiculous. Anyway, this is so good in smoothies, y'all. I add these to my smoothies. More organic dates. Um, we like these too. I put these in my smoothies too, as well. They're good. I still have some at home. My three little bears minus Goldilocks, honey for $14.99. My, you got three of them? And that's what they look like, y'all, three. Cute. So pretty. Aren't they beautiful, y'all? $24.99. They're so pretty. Look at all the flowers. Oh, oh. oh they even have these over here, pretty. Y'all see those with the little hearts in them? Those are $16.99 the pink and red flowers together those are pretty and the all red ones pretty i've heard of these y'all peanut butter bars they look good but i bet you they're not good for you let's see organic dark chocolate unsweetened cane sugar mm -mm. fruit peanut butter it would have been nice if they would have done it with dates i think it would have been awesome but they look delicious though i'm just really watching the sugar and cake all right, y'all, so that was Costco. Good night to come. It wasn't that crowded, like not too crazy crowded. All right, you all, so we have made it back home and I'm going to show you everything that we got while we were out. So I'm gonna start with um, Costco because it's a lot of cold stuff. So you all saw the price of every item that I showed. I tried to show you the best I could, but yes, so. I showed you the prices in the video when we were in the store. So the first one we have here is the Clovis, the Clovis Farms Fruit and Vegetable. And this is a uh, super smoothie. We love this. This is with uh, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberry, kale, spinach, and bananas. And y'all, this makes the best smoothies. I absolutely love it. So I either use this one one day or I would use one of these smoothie packs, which is the uh, dragon fruit mango passion fruit 
snack size pieces. And what I love about both of these packages is they come with the six um, by um, six eight ounce bags. And y'all, that's what I love about them is that they are already in a bag. You don't have to measure it out. So we love this in our smoothies. Um, you can go and put that on over there. And then the next one we have here is the Daybreak Bin blend. Sometimes I would do a separate smoothie. Um, if I'm not using one of those packages, I would use um, this and blend it with other um, items, other things that I put inside of my smoothies. But we absolutely love the Wawana Frozen Organic Daybreak Blend. We love that. Okay. And these are resealable uh, bags too. I love that too. When they do that, when they make the bags resealable. Honey, she had to put that salmon back, that salmon back, salmon, salmon, whatever you want to call it. Because I was like, I can go get some fresh salmon. But anyway, that sa salmon at Costco, the wild call is delicious. But tonight, honey, she was on budget. So we went ahead on and got the wild caught Mahi Mahi boneless skinless. Um, we like this too. So we went ahead on and got that for tonight. Okay, let me finish up since we're doing the Costco. Um, we got some palm juice. Palm juice is very healthy, a lot of health benefits, 100% antioxidant, superpower, pomegranate juice. And it is nothing else added to this. So I'm really excited that I was able to get this tonight. Okay, so we got that. The next thing we got that we're going to put into the refrigerator. I am in love. I forgot to get my sauerkraut, y'all. And it was right there. And I was meaning to get it. But you know how somebody can say something and throw you off? So anyway, I did get two kimchi because they were on sale tonight for, I think, $4.99, which was a really good deal. So I went ahead on and got two of the kimchi because I am a kimchi lover, especially this brand. And I love eating it with everything, y'all. I promise you. She loves eating this kimchi with everything. So I got two of those. And then we also got the um, Kerrygold butter. We absolutely love our Kerrygold Irish um, butter. You know, the... Uh, Costco has their own butter, and it is delicious. It is absolutely um, amazing. But I favor the Kerrygold one better. I don't know why I favor the Kerrygold. But Kerrygold is good. Both of them are very, very good. Okay, so the next thing we have here. Oh, we forgot to get wild-caught blueberries from, from Trader Joe's. I got to get some of those. I was oh. meaning to get those. Anyway, so we have these blueberries, you guys, and we like to eat these. Now, these we will not use in a smoothie. These we'll just put in our hand and just take them as snacks, okay? Now, these, I love them. I do add, like, one to a smoothie, or I will make a dessert, like, um, y'all. If y'all haven't seen the date dessert, I will put it down below if you're interested, child. When you put that peanut butter in the middle and dip it in some dark chocolate, child, you'll swear you are eating a snicker, okay? That's when you have a sweet tooth and want to have a better option of eating um, better sweets. That's, that's what I say. It's a better sweet. So anyway, this is the organic Medjool, I think, dates, and we love them. They're pretty big. Usually when you get these from um, Trader Joe's, it's like half the size. So I thought that that was pretty good um, when I saw these tonight, and they're organic. So I went ahead on and got that. We went ahead on and got some kiwis. Y'all know kiwis is a Man, it's got so many health benefits. The kiwi is amazing, y'all. Look up kiwi and see all the health benefits that kiwis offer your body. I'm telling you, it is amazing. It was some people even eating the hairy part, and I don't know about that because kiwi kind of look like a tarantula to me. But uh, don't mind me. But people are eating them whole. I'm not gonna do that. But interesting, right? So yeah, uh huh. So it's a very healthy fruit. Okay, so we got some kiwi from um, Costco tonight. We also got the organic spring um, mix because we're going to add some arugula to this and just make some amazing salads um, where we have walnuts and some um, dried cranberries, some um, whatever you want to put in your salad, child. Go ahead on and do that. But this is a nice mix. So we love getting that. Another thing we have here I like to add to my smoothies is the nutso. Now, let me tell y'all what they went and did. Last time I got these, they were stuck together. 
And this time, child, they separated them, honey, separated them. And they're charging $14.99 for each singular little bottle jar. I'm like, what? Come on, give us a break. But anyway, it's such a good addition when you want to put it in your smoothie um, for extra protein. I absolutely love it. As you can see, this is... Sorry, this is the ingredients in the back. All healthy, whole food is all healthy. And it has, let's see there. I don't know if y'all can see that. I think it's like eight grams of protein. So anyway, I absolutely love it. It has cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flaxseed, chia seed, hazelnut, pumpkin, uh, and y'all Celtic salt. Tonight, I tried to get Celtic sea salt from Costco, child. They ran out. I got to find some of that. So anyway, we got the chosen avocado oil spray if i'm not using av um, avocado oil i am using olive oils these are only two oils i mess with i don't mess with nothing else child unless it's butter okay 100 percent grass-fed butter other than that or ghee i got i gotta get some ghee a g ghee whatever you want to call it so anyway these are my oils that i got we do use peanut oil if we fry it on sunday just to let y'all know okay we got the organic maple syrup here honey Listen, you cutting on sugar, but when you're a sweet tooth person, person like me, you got to find the alternatives of how um, to incorporate a better sweet when you are eating sweet, and that's like once a week or something. You want to incorporate, incorporate, you want to incorporate a better sweet in your meals or in your food, your your baked goods. Okay, so we got the maple syrup here, and then the honey. Josh, can you grab that honey over there for me, sweetie, and push all that stuff up forward? Okay, we got the three bit bears minus Goldilocks but they're here all right we got the mama bear the daddy daddy bear mama bear and baby bear and we love this honey okay this honey we do all kinds of things with it make salad dressings um i add it to some chicken barbecue sauce child she make a honey and peanut butter sandwich do not sleep on a good honey and peanut butter sandwich okay and you add it to your teas or whatever you want to do all right so we got those are our sweeteners that we got tonight so far you can go ahead and move those josh the next thing we have here honey she cannot live Live without rails if she don't have time to make her own spaghetti sauce rails is your friend i have told y'all time and time again you don't have to do anything to the sauce but just heat it up it is a blessing i tell you honey all right so that is all of the nutrition fact there and then what is rails rails is just straight up can y'all see the ingredients this stuff used to be so expensive back in the day. It's still pricey, but child used to be like $30, like $28 and $30 a jar. Okay, so this is the Italian whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and or, uh, oregano. Child, that is it. Do you see that? That is it. And this stuff is so amazing. I tell you, it is my favorite. Okay, so we got the rails. I also got some cinnamon, cinnamon, some cinnamon here. I'm trying to get that one cinnamon. What is it called, mommy? Oh, it's a it's the top cinnamon. But this is fine for right now when we want to bake with it and do other things. But it is a cinnamon that I want. I got to get the name of it. It's really good and it's good to go in your smoothie. Cinnamon has a lot of health benefits also. If you can get the stick and grind it up, that's even better. It does. I like to add it to my smoothie a little bit because it does help lower the blood pressure, y'all. If you don't know, look it up for yourself and see all of the health benefits that cinnamon offers. All right, so we got that. And of course... Brussels sprouts. Back in the day, I used to think this tastes like Thai detergent. Ask me how did I know what Thai detergent tastes like? I absolutely do not know. But I used to hate Brussels sprouts, and now I absolutely love them. A little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper chow. Let this roast, and you are good to go. I'm telling you, so amazing. So we got some of that. And then another thing we have here is the organic baby spinach. I like to steam some of this sometimes. I like to put it in my eggs. I like to juice with it. So, yes, we got our organic spinach, big old bag. And then this is the one I really juice with is the power greens, okay? Love the power greens from um, Costco. Absolutely love them, and they are very, very good. Okay, so that is everything from Costco. Now we're going to move into what I got from Whole Foods, which is not much, um, but... This is what I got. So we got organic classic, Wellshire, Wellshire organic turkey raised without antibiotic bacon. So I can't wait to try this, okay? It is so hard to find really good quality breakfast meats because a lot of them have so much junk in it. 
And I'm just like, even when they say it's organic and all the other stuff. So I'm going to try this and see. Sounds like it's pretty good. And we'll see how it works in the morning time. This is all the ingredients in here. It doesn't have a long list. It does have a little bit of cane sugar in there, but that's okay. Um, so I, I was happy about that. It's not that crazy. Where is the cane sugar at? Dietary fiber sugar. It says zero. Okay. Six grams of fat. So we got this. I'm going to hand this on off to mommy. I got my um, Ezekiel bread. Love my Ezekiel bread. There's different types of um, the Good Life bread that you can get. This is my favorite. I also like the one with the raisin in it. Um, but yes, I love having this in the morning time. One slice with some eggs, a little bit of spinach, sometimes mushroom, a little bit of cheese, and um, some cut up strawberries and blueberries on the side with sometimes yogurt. Um, it's really, really good, y'all. So I love the Ezekiel bread. So we got that. Next thing we have here, are these beets, y'all. We cut these up and we put these beets in our smoothie. Now, let me tell y'all, do not sleep on this. Y'all see this? A lot of health benefits here. Do not throw that away and just cut that clean it. Because, honey, you can juice with this. You can uh, steam it. I'm telling you, it has a lot of health benefits. So, we have beets. I hated beets as a, as a child. I like them raw. I don't like them pickled, though. All right, but they are excellent in your juice if you juice it. All right, now we're moving towards, um, I love the Siete brand. I use their um, taco seasoning, which is absolutely amazing, y'all. Oh, absolutely love it. And the almond flour Siete um, tortilla shells are amazing, and they were on sale tonight, and I was so happy that we were able to get our hands on it. It is not a cheap tortilla shell, so child, every single one of these is going to treat be treated with the most highest respect because it is, it y'all, healthy food costs a lot of money, but you need it. You need it. It helps you live better. You know what I'm saying? It helps you feel better and it's putting better ingredients in your body we have to take care of ourselves okay this is a grain-free tortilla and it's cassava flour this one so i got two kinds that's the cassava flour this is the almond flour and they both are grain free and they are by the siete brand we absolutely love them okay you can go ahead and put that in the refrigerator these are the bananas i told y'all she always looking for banana spiders honey because i saw a story about some banana spiders biting somebody and boy, they have to pay for it. So I'm always looking like, is there any baby banana spiders up in here? <laughs> anyway, so I like to take my bananas at this stage or maybe sometimes where it's just beginning to get a little yellow. That's when I like to take it, cut it, and freeze it and then I use them in my smoothie because we we still get the nutrients of the banana but not so much of the sweetness okay so when you cut it up when it's a little maybe tomorrow we'll cut it up but you don't want it to get yellow child you want it for us this is for me because I don't want all of the sugar when you're adding other fruits. You got to be careful with the sugar intake when it comes to fruits going in your smoothie, okay? We got the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother honey. Ooh, I like to have this in the morning time. Matt, mommy will make us a little drink, not every morning, maybe three times a week. We have the cayenne pepper with the honey, the apple cider vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, and some cinnamon. And... And lemon, too. And let me tell y'all, we love that little drink in the morning time. Joshua got him this Tom's um, deodorant, the lemongrass one. Y'all, it smells so wonderful. It's a really good scent. So he went ahead on and got those. that one tonight. We also got the Chosen Ranch. Okay. So we're going to taste that. I didn't even know Chosen made their own... Um, salad dressing so i cannot wait to try this but we got the pure 100 avocado oil ranch y'all chosen ranch i'm gonna learn how to make my own ranch it's very easy though i used to do it back in the day so i need to bring it back into uh bring it back into my life making it where um it's more healthier but that's a, a good option all right so we got the synergy raw kombucha and I love the Mystic Mango, and I also love the Pineapple one, but I got this one tonight. And then, Mommy, we all love these. When we go on little road trips, y'all, we taking a trip soon. And y'all, it is such an exciting place. I'm so happy we are taking this family trip. And we, are go we like to take these little fruit punches with us um, while we're traveling. So when we don't want that soda or that 
um, sugary drink or just water, we can have this. And it's a better option. So the fruit punch, y'all, is so good. Then we got the cayenne pepper, because remember I told y'all about that um, delicious drink mommy makes for us in the morning. And I watched, I look at Bobby Parrish, if y'all have ever seen him. Um, he really He's really good on um, helping us make better choices when it comes to a better quality of food, making better choices, healthier choices. And so today I was looking at him, he popped up. And I checked out his video and he was talking about this one is just fruit spread. I love a mean peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now I've been addicted to the, I'm not going to say addicted, but I absolutely love the peanuts where you grind it yourself or either you go to the store and it's just peanut and that is it. And it's just this natural oils, y'all. It is so delicious. Just a little bit of sea salt in there. All right. So this is the Crofter. This is the Crofter's Just Fruit Spread Organic Strawberry. Y'all, this is on sale right now as we speak at Whole Foods. So we're going to try this. And if I love it, I'm going to go back and get some tomorrow. So anyway, this is the ingredients. I hope y'all can see that, y'all. It is organic apple juice concentrate, organic strawberries, apple pectin. I hope I can see that. Asorbic acid and vitamin, is that say vitamin O? And citric acid. Y'all, I don't know if that say vitamin O or vitamin D, child. She can't see that. Oh, thank you, mama. Does that say, I ain't never heard of no vitamin O. Okay, well, I can't see it. But anyway, it's a really cute jar. It's only 30 calories uh, per, I guess, a tablespoon. All right, y'all, look how cute the jar is. And just the fact that... It was sweetened with just those natural things. Those ugh, I cannot wait to try it. All right, so that is everything that I got from those two stores. Now we're going to put um, what I got from Aldi's and Trader Joe's. And y'all, we are done tonight. Okay, so stay tuned. All right, you all. So this is everything the, um, that I got from Aldi's and from Trader Joe's. Okay, so let's start with Aldi's. We got these lemons. Um, absolutely love these, like we said, in the morning time. Uh, Mom and I... Are these organic, Mommy? No, those Okay. No, good. Mom and I love having this um, maybe three times in the morning, three times through the week, but we have those delicious, um, that lemon drink, okay? Next thing we have over here, I got some oregano, okay? Then I got some minced onion. I love their minced onion at um, Aldi's. It really does flavor your food pretty good. Y'all, excuse that background, because, honey, she is. Okay, another thing, y'all, she don't have time to cut up the garlic. This one is so good. It's garlic in olive oil, and I absolutely love it. And so, yeah, we use that. I've been using that a lot in meals. Um, I was so excited tonight to see date syrup. I was like, what? So I saw a girl, she was making a recipe, and she used date syrup. And I said, wow. So let me check this out. I've been seeing other people speak about it. And um, let me try to zoom in on here. That's about as clear as it's going to get. Anyway, y'all, uh, y'all trust me and believe whenever I said what the ingredients are in this date um, syrup, it just says dates right there. It just says dates right there. It's so hard to see it. But trust me when I tell you, it just said, there we go, a little bit. That's it. It's dates. I got this from Aldi, so I'm so excited. Cannot wait to use it in a recipe or recipes, okay? So there we go. The next thing that we have here is Joshua's hamburger bun. Because y'all, he wants me to make sloppy joes and chicken wings <laughs> for this Super Bowl. So he went ahead on and got his bread. So that's that, the brioche bun. Here we go, Josh. And then the last thing we got from all these is, oh, can you put this in the freezer? Is the tropical blend. I like to um, blend this when I'm making a, a smoothie separate from the um, packet. So I, I get this too as well. All right, so now we're gonna go to Target right quick because I had to run into Target. I'm gonna use this to fry up his wings because I'm not using my, um, King Arthur um, flour for that child. So she went ahead. That was only $3.99. And then I went ahead on. I tried to get a better quality um, dye. I should have gotten that online. But child, this is just for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be making a cake, y'all. And it's going to be pink on top. It is the most beautiful cake pan I have ever seen. And I cannot wait to show you all. So stay tuned for that. But this is what I'm going to be using to get that pink um, frosting. 
So cannot wait for that. I'm, I'm glad that they show you what, how many drops you should do for the color that you want. So anyway, all right. So now let's go to Trader Joe's. I got this, um, some more kale we're gonna put into the smoothie. Love our baby broccoli, child. We are fans of the baby broccoli, okay? We got two of those, all right? Also, we got some sprinkles, y'all. Look how pretty these sprinkles are. Aren't they beautiful? You even got the heart with the cutout in the middle. I just thought that they were just too pretty. So I'm gonna use these on something. If I don't finish them off this year, I can finish them off yet next year. So we got this because I think they go all the way up until 2025, child. All right. And then I got some more dipping chocolate. Just in case I need extra dipping chocolate, I'm going to be doing some strawberries this weekend. So I went ahead on and got this. Um, and this is Trader Joe's dipping chocolate. It's melting chocolate. It even has sprinkles in this set. It shows you how you can. Isn't the sprinkles cute? So adorable. So adorable. Okay. And then I got my cheese, child. She got to hurry and put it in. Look how soft that brie is absolutely love that and then joshua got his little raspberry i'm gonna do a charcuterie little tiny charcuterie nothing fancy so these are going to be on that board and then also we got some gouda cheese chair child because me and mama are the only mouse in the house joshua does not we we the only mice in the house joshua does not like cheese i don't know i tried everything i could child but he does not like cheese <laughs> And then we got our Greek nonfat yogurt. I like to add these also, um, maybe like one fourth cup um, to my smoothie. Sometimes I use the cashew yogurt too as well. All right, so we got that. We got our eggs here, our brown eggs. I can't wait to get a farm, y'all, so I can go in the back like my grandfather used to and get his eggs from the back, child. I cannot wait for that. That will be coming in the near future. I don't know when, but it will be coming. Okay, ra Raisin Rosemary Crisp Crackers. These are so amazing when you use them with the brie. Oh, they're so good. Such a delicious, very um, rustic looking cracker. It's so pretty and it's tasty. So we got some of those. I also got the grainless granola. Love this cereal. If you guys have never tried this cereal, please give it a try. It is amazing. I, Mom and I love it. Okay. And then we got the grass fed milk here. Then we got Joshua's soda for this weekend. He loves the Italian soda, so we went ahead on it. He got that. We found the organic grass, um, what is it called? Grass-fed beef. So we went ahead and got two of those. Mommy can go and put that in the refrigerator. We got some apples, child. We got apples after apples. You know, y'all, we know. Y'all, if you don't know, we are apple heads in this family. So we got some apples, and I believe those are Envy apples, which we absolutely love. I'm excited to try this lip balm. Yeah, so it's a lip balm, and it is, um, it's a vanilla lip mask. It's not a lip balm, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm excited to try this vanilla lip mask. And so, um, I'm gonna take it out just so I can see what it looks like. Cause she is excited about that, cause honey, she is, this, um, winter has been making my lips pretty dry, and I am not about that life. I don't like cracked lips, okay? But, it's in a cute little, it's, is that glass? I think it is glass. But look how cute that is. Isn't it cute? Open that for me, Joshua. Just the top so I can smell it and show them what the texture of it looks like. So you all, this is what it looks like in the inside. And it smells like vanilla. So I cannot wait to use that. Yeah, it's really cute. And that was, I believe, for $5. Don't quote me. I believe it was for $5. Yes. So that is everything. Oh, let me show them the cakes, y'all, because I'm doing this cake. Okay, so I got this cake pan. I'm making, I like making little, give me both of those, all the, the brownie and the cake. So I like, I forgot to show y'all this. I like um, making Joshua's, um, the guys at his job, little snacks. And so I said, oh, well, let me use my new cake pan just to see how it comes out. So I said, I'm not gonna make a pound cake with all them nice ingredients, child. Not to say that they are nice guys. Hey, they are like this, they won't worry about it. But y'all know them ingredients can cost a lot of money going into a homemade pound cake. So I said, well, what I'll do, I saw something where they mixed the Duncan Hines and the chocolate fudge. So this is a real shortcut. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it that way or not. We're going to see, but y'all stay tuned for the video that I have coming up. I'm gonna show you the recent pans that I got that are Valentine um, 
friendly, but you can use them year round. And I'm so excited about using this one pan and using this trick that they did to put on the top of the um, cake when it's done. So I cannot wait to show you all. So yes, yeah, so we got the chocolate fudge, which I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love the Pillsbury chocolate fudge. Child, if you're not making it from scratch like Ina Garden, honey, she got the best brownies ever recipe then this one is really, really good for a quick, you know, people be like, girl, what you do? You can doctor that up, child. And people think you've been in the kitchen with, with flour on your nose. And then this one also, you can doctor this up too. So we're going to see how they come out together. I'll see if I'm going to do that because the pan is not like that deep. So I don't want to make too much and then have an overflow. I might, can you put it in another little pan? So we'll see you all. So stay tuned for that. So that is everything that concludes this haul. I'm so happy you all went shopping with me and family tonight. We enjoyed having you. And if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit my subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you. You all can come and check me out and see what is Shar doing? Where is she going? How is she today? How is she doing today? And I pray everything is well in the neck in your neck of the woods too as well. I know around the country we've been having challenging weather, but I'm praying that all is well with you and your families. Um, so you all be blessed. And I wanted to tell y'all, last uh, month, my grandmother turned 101, y'all. Can you believe that? And she is still strong, 101 years old. We are so grateful to have her. Another thing, I have a trip coming up that I'm going to upload it on my um, other channel. I want y'all to give me some love and go check out my other channel. It's my travel channel. It's Char's Adventures TV. You can hit, hit it right above um, this video. You'll see where the link is right there to take you directly to it. I will also put it in the, in the description box so you can go directly to it, you all. Please show me some love and support over there. I'm trying to get that channel to grow and um, just give it some love. I, I, I really would like to see some of y'all. Some, a few of y'all have come over to say hello and you click that subscribe button. I want to say thank you to those who have shown that love to me. And those of you who are new to this channel, thank you also for showing um, just interest in saying, hey, I like her. Let me hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. All right, you all. So make sure you go check out that. We went to Disney World in, um, I think it was in October, going into November. Y'all, we had a beautiful time. I got some videos up about that. And I recently did some other um, Disneyland videos, but I have another video coming up. Um, not, um, not too soon, it'll be in March. Um, because there's another vacation we're going to be taking and that will be uploaded in there sometime in March. All right, you all. So thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Shar. You all be blessed. And remember, always take care of one another, love one another, be kind to one another. I know you said that girl got a lot to say. Yes, I do. Be kind to one another. Show love, love. That's what Jesus would want us to do is to show love and be kind to one another, okay? You all remember, always, always trust God. Keep him first, and he'll always lead you in the right direction. All right, you all. So thank you so much for tuning in. You all be blessed, and I'll be praying for you. Whatever you're going through, only God knows. But I can say, Lord, bless my family members, my subscribers, those who subscribe to my channel. You know what each one of them are going through in their lives. And whatever they're going through, Lord, bless them. Bless them. And so you all be blessed, and I'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned for more with Journey with Shar. Bye-bye.